is Veritas Tarot. Cancer, I am going to be doing you your 2021 reading. Um, and what we're going to be looking at is um, where you are right now, your perceived state of mind about where you are at this point of time leading into 2021, uh, where you'd like to be uh, in 2021 next year, uh, what's coming in for you the next few steps next year, and uh, also, you know, advice from spirit in terms of um, maybe challenges you might need to overcome to achieve what you wish to achieve uh, next year. But let's have a look to see what Spirit has to say for you, Cancer. Um, if the reading resonates, I would be very grateful if you would comment, like, share and subscribe uh, to my channel on YouTube, Veritas Tarot. I'm also on Instagram and I have a my website to Veritas Tarot where you can make uh, requests for personal readings. If the reading doesn't resonate, it simply means the message wasn't for you, it's for somebody else. There will always be a reading out there for you at exactly the right time that you need to hear it guided by spirit. So my darlings, let's have a look for you for next year. This is for Cancer 2021. So first of all, going to be looking at your perceived state of mind, where you are right now on your journey. Thank you for Cancer. Thank you. So we have got the Queen of Cups has come out, which is the Queen of Ch Shells in this tarot deck. So this tarot deck is the Spirit Song Tarot. And uh, but this is the Queen of Cups in the traditional tarot. And this is a beautiful card to start off with. The Queen of Cups is somebody who is very empathic, who's very kind, who's very nurturing, has a playful side as well. Um, and the Queen of Cups is somebody who has learned um, self-love, has learned healthy boundaries. Um, it's somebody who um, very much loves to do things, you're very much uh, loving to do things for people, but at the same time, you have learned when to say no, uh, those healthy boundaries. Um, and you've learned that through a process of, of learning to love yourself. Um, the, the Queen of Cups in, in this deck is, is represented by the, the seal. And the seal has a very, um, the seal represents having a very deep wisdom, seeing things always from that love space, um, you know, from that, you know, I think you have very beautiful eyes as well, I've just been told to, and you're incredibly soft, you're incredibly soft, and so therefore don't let people take too much of an advantage of you. Um, you have a gift of knowing you have a gift that inner voice that clear cognizance when we say we know something you do have that gift and you 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 use that gift of your knowing of trusting your instinct trusting your soul to deal with the ebbs and flows of life just like the seal deals with the ebbs and flows of the water you're a natural healer as well uh, which is wonderful and that's something that you've learned um, about yourself on this journey that you've been on and you thrive on harmony and peace. Um, very diplomatic, very caring, very intuitive. Um, and as I said, love drives all your actions. So you're in a beautiful space, my darling, um, in terms of where you are right now leading into 2021. So what we're going to be looking at now is where you wish to be next year. Let's have a look for you, that's wonderful. <laughs> it was not a surprise. You've got the 10 of cups that's come out. So you, it, the Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the tarot deck, um, alongside the Sun card and the Ten of Pentacles as well. So the Ten of Cups is wonderful. The Ten of Cups is about that self-love, that self-fulfillment uh, as well. Um, it, this is represented by the, uh, the uh, Pelican, and this talks about uh, blessings and well-being. So there are many blessings coming in for you that you wish to happen for you next year but this is all spirit telling you you know what to expect in terms of the current energies that you are emitting because we're all energy and emotion is emotion energy and motion so what you are projecting at this current time as this queen of shells this queen of cups you are attracting back to yourself and it's very very beautiful there are as i said many blessings you know coming in for you and you've learned um, to not try and control things, to relax and know that you deserve as the Queen of Cups to, to receive this. You're enjoying life at the moment. You're savoring each moment. I'm getting children in my mind as well. You're very loyal, very loyal to your family, very loyal to your friends, very social. Um, I'm also being told, um, you know, people talk to you. 
um, you receive a lot of information from people because they like to talk to you. They, they, they gain wisdom from talking to you. But like the pelican with his great big beak, you, you keep it there. You keep all that water, that fish that you don't, you don't release that back out. You know, you're, you're very protective of your friends and family and they're very important to you. And, um, you know, with the Ten of Cups, this is dreams, this is blessings, you know, coming true for you. So this is a beautiful start. And on the bottom of the deck, as um, I've been saying that, I've been guided to look at um, the full card, the Traveller. Uh, so what's wonderful about this is, you know, everything in our life goes in cycles. And um, the Traveller or the Fall is the start of the new cycle in the Tarot deck. The World card is the end of the cycle. So you're, you're entering into a new cycle. Um, and it's with such a free spirit, like the gazelle here. You're, you're, it's, it's so beautiful. Um, this talks about this card talks about adventure and potential um, and spontaneity. And the universe has a way of surprising us sometimes. And you know, gazelles do zigzag from side to side. So there may be many opportunities coming in for you that may be not quite what you're expecting to happen in 2021, but they're all the start of this cycle for you, this brand new cycle, and that you're entering into, because you've shifted and changed energetically, you've released a lot of things to get to this Queen of Cups space. You've released so much, you've learned and you've grown from your experiences. All of our experiences and our relationships in life are all for the evolution of our soul. That is our soul's purpose, excuse the pun. And you've gone through something that has brought you to this place of bliss and happiness and how lovely to see this going forward to 2021 where you know this is this is on the bottom of the deck this this new cycle that you're coming into in what has been a year for many of deep reflection and time out for a lot of people and I can see this space that you're in is a very um, you're feeling secure, you're feeling safe, you're feeling um, you've come back home to yourself. It is with a deeper understanding of yourself. And that is really beautiful to see. Um, what I'm going to be looking at now, it's, you know, what is coming in for you this next year? And this, and this is based on your current energies, my darling. Thank you. Thank you for cancer. What is coming in for you? So you have got the love card has come in for you. Choices, choices in love, and also choices in trusting love or not trusting love. So um, what I find interesting with this particular lover's card is uh, it is, you know, our journeys are all about self-love, okay? They're not really about, um, they are about love of another, but they are about love of another when we have so much love to give. Uh, that we just want to give out love because we have that self-love that we've learned and we're not looking for love in another to make us feel loved because we don't feel lovable ourselves if that makes sense so this choice in love that you have maybe you've got more than one suitor let me to call it the old-fashioned way and maybe it's a choice that you're going to make with choices in love but it's also for me these are two wolves here and there's a beautiful American Indian tale that we have two wolves inside us. We have the fear wolf and we have the love wolf. And the wolf that leads the pack is the wolf we feed. So if this is a, um, a reminder for you about not feeding your fears when it comes to choices in love, when it comes to trusting love. You may have come into this queen of cups place because you have been hurt in the past before and the queen of cups doesn't give that cup away to just anybody she's very protective about her heart she's very protective and help as i said about creating healthy boundaries and um absolutely wanting to give love but not prepared to be in a relationship that she feels she walks on eggshells or you as a he walks on eggshells you can be he or she in this reading this is just the energies i'm reading so this you have, you're going to have choices in love this next year coming in. And what I'm seeing with this is because you're in this Queen of Cups place right now, because you're wishing for this Ten of Cups, and because you've got the full card that's come in, which is wonderful, you are in 
a beautiful energy to receive the right kind of love. You deserve this love that's coming in. So whatever choice you're going to make regarding this love, remember to do it from that beautiful knowing you have. Remember I talked about the seal and the queen of cups has a deep inner wisdom, has a knowing. Trust in yourself. Trust that you're not making a decision based on fear because you may have been hurt before. Trust that when you feel red flags, they are red flags. Trust when you know the person in front of you, you know the feelings that you have or they may have. Trust in what you know. Remember to trust in your direct perception of life. Nobody else, because you and only you see your life through your lens of life. And everybody else sees their life through their lens of life. That's why it all comes back to that trust in yourself, trust in your knowing, because your knowing, your soul, is that piece of God in the universe. And that is an extraordinary gift that we've been given by God. So that is fantastic. Whatever choices, and again, you've got here the moon card, not the moon, but you've got the moon in the corner, this crescent. This is this new cycle that's coming in for you. But whatever choices you're making, my darling, both those walls, whether they're fear or love, they're both heading towards the sun. They're both heading towards um, happiness. And they both seem to me to be taking that leap of faith. So be guided by your feelings. As I said, God, the universe talks to us through our feelings. And be guided by that and not by um, other people's perceptions of choices that you may or may not make. Other people's perceptions may come from their cloudy lens of life, from things that they've gone through. So trust in yourself, my darling. I'm also going to now pull you some advice from Spirit for you. Thank you. Thank you, advice for cancer. Thank you. So this wants to come out. You've got the three of feathers, which is the three of swords. So there has been heartache for you in the past, and that's what I saw in this wonderful uh, Queen of Cups. You see, she's also, uh, for me, she's looking back at the past there. So you've come to where you are right now. And the full card is again on the bottom of the deck as I'm saying this. So you've come, what Spirit is saying is, and um, excuse me if my dog started start barking, they're, they're quite naughty. Um, you've come through something, you, you've come through, you've, you've recovered, you've released a lot of emotions that no longer serve you from something that was, this is the three of source, something that was very painful for you in the past. Um, and this, this you've got here so almost like a thistle and the three feathers so the feathers here represent letting go releasing things that no longer serve you and the thistle talks about again learning from experiences um being uh, affected by them now when we go through this place this painful place um when we go through these darker times, these are the times when we're at our most transformative. If we all were to feel incredibly comfortable the whole time, we wouldn't evolve. Our souls wouldn't evolve. We go through every experience we have, every relationship we have is a gift given to us by God. And it's a gift that's given um, in order for, for us to uh, evolve. And it's how we choose to receive that gift that makes all the difference. So if we receive a gift of learning and think that this is something that's happened to us, then we're choosing not to learn from it. If we receive a gift of learning, however uncomfortable it may be, and choose to learn from it, choose to observe it, choose to understand why it's happened, and then release it, that's allowing our soul to evolve. That's allowing us to become into a higher and higher vibration. And this three of feathers, you can see here that you've got the moth. Now the moth does for a while, as you know, battle, try and fight for the light, try and find the light. But it's that place of that journey to the light, which actually is in ourselves. You know, you have to navigate through the darkness to get to there, just like the moth. But it's in that faith that you found, Spirit saying, that you that knowing that you can move through those dark times and you have now come to this extraordinary place. And I feel that you're very grateful for where you are right now. 
because where you are right now is the queen of cups the ten of cups choices in love and you've got the full card that's appeared twice um and you haven't thank you spirit you haven't let your sadness you haven't let that you haven't suppressed the heartache you've let that weight of sadness transform you you've sat in it you haven't ignored it you haven't repeated the same cycle again um you've actually let that weight of sadness transform you and that's just beautiful into love and courage and that's why you've got the queen of cups in terms of where you are right now and um just like the moths sort of break it coming through to the light there are new breaks new breakthroughs are going to take place for you this next year and this involves your choices in love and trust so that's very beautiful, my darling. I'm going to just pull you a couple of other cards. Um, let's pull you. I want you to just ask a couple of questions in your mind. And I'm going to see what answers with my angel answer deck spirit has for you. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. What answers do you have for cancer? You've got unlikely you've got not the right time so let me ask one more thank you oh we've got three there romance as we talked about listen to your intuition which is something you know that you know <laughs> and uh you've got improving health so whatever that may mean for you if you've had any concerns about yourself or somebody family or friends uh, who may not be very well at this time you certainly have improving health um i'm also seeing at the bottom of the deck the four of crystals which is the four of pentacles and four of pentacles <clears throat> in the traditional tarot is about not letting go of something and worrying about something worrying about finances or just not letting go of something but this four of pentacles as well for me with the beaver you see beavers build very strong dams don't they they build that strong foundation um, and there's a lot of effort and planning that goes into it but it's a reminder for you this next year to work from a place of trust not force and remember as i've talked about to take a step back and observe things why is this happening for me not why is this happening to me but why is this happening for me and um when it comes to this choice in love, it's also a reminder for you not to build walls around yourself, to protect yourself, to be open, to be vulnerable, to always talk from that heart space, your soul space, that love space, um, and to have compassion for those who may not be where you are right now in your peaceful state. Um, others who who may be on their own path and they may be repeating cycles but um you are in such a I, i'm feeling you're in such a, an extraordinary space right now um and i want to pull and it's a gorgeous place to be as we come into this new year with hope for the future i want to just pull for you <laughs> you've had the temperance card that flew out so whatever you're looking at that's saying unlikely and not the right time. We're just going to go back to this. Okay, you've also got the temperance card that's come out with that as well. So what that is saying to me is spirit is saying, not right now, whatever it is that you're wanting to happen, it's not happening right now for you. Now the reason that is, is because you're being protected. There is a beautiful divine timing in the universe if you can trust in that divine timing and let go and let God. One of the things we're taught all our lives is that we have to try and control things to make things happen. And one of the beautiful secrets of the universe is actually if you let go of that control and allow the universe to step in through those cracks of least resistance and stop thinking about how, when, who, what, why, but just trusting whatever you're asking for for next year, this Ten of Cups, it's already happened. The universe has already said yes, and everything is moving into place for you for that to happen. So it's about stepping back, stepping out of the way, and literally watching in wonderment 
as all these surprises and delights and things start happening for you, there's no such thing as coincidences. They're all God incidences. And God, the universe, our guides have an incredible sense of humor. But what they're asking you for is these things are all happening for you. This Ten of Cups is coming in for you. And you deserve it, my darling. But you have the Temperance card, and there's no but here. It basically is saying, patience. Have patience. It's one of the biggest things for us to learn that actually when something isn't happening, it's not the universe is saying no, it's just saying they're saying just not quite the right time. There's other things that have to happen first. Um, but you can see here almost with this fire and this water, it's as above down below. It's happened, my darling. You just haven't yet seen it in your reality. Um, I'm just going to pull a couple of cards for you just from my Tarot Illuminati deck to see what else we have for you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What have we got here? How beautiful. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. That is one before this Ten of Cups. So this is where you wish to be in 2021. This is your Wish Fulfillment. And this is what Spirit is saying. But you see he's not doing a great deal about it. He's got all those nine cups, but he's not doing a great deal about it because he's in receiving mode. He understands how the universe works. He has said thank you for it happening before it's happened because he trusts. The fool in this card, this is the fool representing all of these cards, the fool in this card understands that the universe says yes all the time. And in order for that wheel of fortune to, to turn in your favour, it's with just letting go and letting God and allowing the universe to come in. You've also got here an Ace of Cups, which has appeared, which is just beautiful. And that Ace of Cups is a reminder to you about always doing things as you're doing as this Queen of Cups from the heart space. Always doing things from a place of self-love as well. Ace of, this Ace of Cups is about self-love. But it's also about wonderful opportunities that are coming in for you. Cups are representative of emotions, love, relationships, romance. So whatever this choice you have with the lovers, there is a beautiful gift that's coming in from you, from God. This is a gift. This is a gift of peace. And you see the lotus flowers underneath. This is a reminder to you that Spirit is saying, well done because those lotus, lotus flowers grow in dark, murky waters and something beautiful comes out of them. And that's you, this lotus flower. So that's just wonderful, my darling. Um, and <laughs> as I'm putting away the cards, 10 of cups again has come out for you. So that's two lots of 10 of cups. I believe that um, the, the lockdown and COVID and things has had a real transformation for you because of the rainbow here. And there's been a lot of hope and trust and belief with you. But I don't want you to ignore your knowing. You see, hope, trust and belief is sort of putting our foot down partly on the accelerator. And knowing is almost putting your foot full down because when you know something, you're trusting in God because that knowing comes from him and you. And um, I talked about blissful and children, and you have all of this in the card, and you've got the mushrooms here, which talk about a Kundalini awakening. You've gone through a very spiritual awakening at this time, and that's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pull one last card for you, or see what comes out. Um, and you, you see the ten, sorry, just to the ten, this is so lovely. The ten and the one make 11, 11 cups. 1111 is a very powerful um, spiritual number. When you see 1111 everywhere, it means that you're on your path. It means a well done from spirit. And 11 and 11 and 9 <laughs> make 20. So look where we are now in 2020. You've gone through um, and you've got here again another 10 here and you've got the queen so this card this and this is 11 as well so you have got your two 11 11s but this 20 is saying this is where you've come to this year you've been on an extraordinary journey and this is just beautiful reading cancer um i'm going to just pull one or two last cards see what spirit wants to say of course they want to say this um and it's flown out straight away you've got the six of cups the soulmate card. This reading cancer is about love. 
absolutely about love. And this card, this Six of Cups soulmate, this is what's coming in for you. This is what you deserve. You're being given a gift by God, by the universe, because you do deserve this. And it's reminded to you that whoever's coming in for you next year, this choice that you make in trust and love, whoever's coming in for you is coming in at the same vibration as you because you have done so much work to heal, to shift, to change and to evolve and come to this place of peace and self-love and feeling a real connection with God, with the universe. And so whatever's coming in for you is a gift from God. And this is this Ace of Cups. So there we are, my darlings. And there on the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. You are going to be victorious. This Six of Wands is a wonderful card. The, the white horse represents that peace and clarity. Um, it is also a reminder, just as I'm finishing, that whilst you are on your journey, stay away from, from negative energies around you that cause you to be distracted from where you're meant to be. You, you focus on being in that positive place where you see the work of the universe, you observe, you understand things are happening for you, you're so grateful for everything that's happened for you, but you also have compassion and understanding for those that may not see life through your lens of life. Um, and just, just you keep focusing on you, my darling, because whatever you're doing, you're doing beautifully, and it's just absolutely lovely to see. So, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your 2021 reading. Um, you're going to have a very beautiful year looking forward, and um, it was lovely to do this for you. Take care, my darlings. Bye-bye.